Hello and welcome to The Vital Truth. My name is Patty and I welcome you here as always. I'm glad that you've joined me. Um, I'm almost giggling at my own self because I just finished making a video about being led by the Spirit of God and manning your post. And I want to share with you guys, I, I want to be real. Can I be real with you right now? I want to talk to you like I talk to my own family, my own children, my own husband, and just share from my heart the things that are on my heart, the things that the Lord has shown me in the last few days, maybe the last week. And um, it really freed me and released me and gave me joy just to have this simple understanding of why things are happening the way that they are. Now, I don't know how it is in your life, but in my household and my children's lives, it seems as though we have had to fight uphill battles all of our lives. Um, we've often got together when trying to encourage and comfort one another and said, you know, we have gone through more in a few short years than some people do in two lifetimes. And we kept wondering, you know, is there a curse on us? You know, um, some people would look and say, oh, look, at you're out of the will of God. Look at the judgment falling on you and your family. Or my poor son, it seemed like, you know, he can't uh, get out of his own way sometimes that things will just start to look up for him and he'll be doing good and being blessed and the rug is pulled right back out from under him and he falls flat. And uh, people are like, wow, what a jerk. You must really have a lot of lessons to learn. God has clipped your wings. God is punishing you. You know, all of these things. And you know, after year, years and years of this, time and time again, uh, of course, you've got the enemy of your soul also whispering in your ear, you know, that God doesn't care about you. And no matter how hard you try or how good you live for him, uh, look what's happening to you. Look over there at them. You know, they're being blessed coming in and going out. And look at you. Your life is constant turmoil or chaos or, you know, there's sickness. Um just all kinds of things. But let me share with you what the Lord showed me. How great His love is and how I wouldn't take anything for the road that I have traveled because on this road, though it was very hard indeed and many lessons had to be learned, um, the struggles and the pain that were involved Yet today I look back with understanding now and I praise my King, my Lord and my Master for the route that He brought me because He not only told me why, but He gave me a glimpse into the future. How necessary and how valuable without price are the lessons, the training and the school that He's brought me through. What he's shared with me is that, yes, even though it seems like we have gone through more than most people will ever face in a lifetime, he said, listen, I have been training you before you even acknowledged and recognized me. I have been putting you through intense training hardship so that you would know who your God is, that you would know that I alone am your source. I have been making and molding you into what will be a frontline warrior, one of those that will stand in the face of their enemy, looking their enemy eye to eye, and be strong and as bold as steel. 
unmovable, knowing who your God is and who you are in Him. You won't cower, you won't run, but you will obey me because you know who I am and I have proven myself to you and your family throughout the years time and time again so that you would recognize me that you would know me that you would know my voice that you would know that I am a deliverer I am your healer I am your provider I meet every need according to my will you had to know that I'm in full control and that nothing happens to you or in your life that I don't allow nothing sneaks by me I watch over you through the night I keep you through the day I protect you from the fiery darts you know all of these things and he said yes I'm pruning those that belong to me these are the final preparations you have come through hardship through storms through battles through sickness through death through financial crisis through your whole life being stopped and restarted fresh anew on a new path all of these things my intentions were good for you I knew what I was doing I knew what I had to perform in you and your life to bring you to this end time to be able to endure until the very end to be able to suffer persecution and go through tribulation and be strong and represent me well and allow me to reach through you to others he said yes I'm pruning right now I'm pruning the fine details and pruning is painful it doesn't feel good and it seems like oh my goodness how much more can I stand but he said the end result is going to be worth it all when you're able to stand tall with full assurance in your God and in his victory that he has already accomplished and given unto us these things it's worth it all every trial every test every lesson that we have to learn I don't look back now and feel sorry for myself I don't look back and think well you know so and so and all these other people they had it easy everything was handed to them we had to claw and scratch and and uh, you know do everything the hard way but you know what I look at my children and I look at my life and my husband and the Lord has made us strong he has made us to where when all of the things that are fixing to come up on the face of the earth others who do not know him like we know him they're gonna fold up like an umbrella their hearts are gonna fail with fear when their church buildings are locked down and maybe burnt to the ground and they no longer have the assembly of the saints and the fellowship with one another because they're hiding underground or in pits and holes and caves or wherever they can find they're going to be alone and if they didn't know God they're either going to pray real hard and find him or they're going to curse God because they didn't know him and they're not going to accept the tribulation and persecution that's going to come upon them oh but those who have had to climb the rough side of the mountain who have had to come through the waters that were overflowing and flooding and yet the Lord kept your head above the water and led you through the streams that were rushing when you were being brought through the fire and being purified as pure gold you're going to be able to stand and not only stand but you'll praise your Lord because you know that you're right where he desired for you to be you already have victory and your heart will be filled with love and compassion for others reaching to them because many times now 
the things that I went through and suffered and came through, someone will write me and and they're, they'll just be broken, shattered, and feel like they have no hope. And when I read what they're telling me that's going on in their life, it's almost as if I had written a journal and they had got in my personal notes and they're reading my life back to me. And the Lord prepared me and brought me through it. And if they will listen, He's made me able to counsel them with godly counsel and say, look, you can go this route and suffer a whole lot more, or you can listen and learn by what I went through and go this route, and I can point them to Jesus, and their suffering is minimal, and they're delivered quickly. God is doing a quick work right now in these days. And all that come to him, he will in no wise cast out. But if you're one that's been suffering, one that's been going through trials, one whose life has been hard, rejoice. Rejoice in Jesus today because he was preparing you all these years. He, on purpose, has put you through schooling and training to make and mold you into a vessel that is strong, one that is fit for the master's use, one that he can live and dwell in that's been purged and cleansed and pruned and made perfect by him himself. So even though I didn't get to share my song with you, he may let me later. But be encouraged today. Know that Jesus is in full control and that all things happened for your good by your Father permitting and allowing all things to work together for your good for this end result. May the Lord Jesus bless you. I love you. I love him. Until the next time, bye-bye.